Hey you guys, it's your girl Leah and we're back with another banger. Um I'm sitting here in my driveway and I'm waiting for Ariel. We're about to go scoop Ariana after Ariel get here. And then we are going to get belly button piercings. Y'all ain't gonna lie. I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> I really wanted a belly button piercing for a long ass time. And we was trying to make a plan to go get belly button piercings for a long ass time. And it's just... This shit is crazy. Because we actually going to do it. And not only that... It's so much stuff that I need to get y'all caught up on that happened in my life. So much, 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 so much stuff. Um, but we're going to go and get this belly button piercing. And then we're going to go out to eat or whatever. And yeah, that's going to be the what's it called? It's gonna be the move, the plan. I'm gonna drive. Cause Ario drove when we the last time we went somewhere. So I'm driving this time. And everybody on my back talking about someone. Why are you driving? Why are you driving? Is you supposed to be driving? Is she supposed to be driving? And I know y'all wondering, why would they be on your back? Well, I just recently just got um I just recently got out of the hospital or whatever. And yes, I know. It's um it's a lot. Um I just got out of the hospital from having a blood clot. And I know y'all are like, well how the fuck did that happen? Well, I'm gonna tell y'all guys. You tell y'all guys. I'm gonna tell you guys about it real soon. I'm gonna put this phone down. And Ario is coming up the street right now. So, yeah. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. We'll be back. Tell me, baby, do you want to dance? I can't believe she's making me do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is, too. <laughs> Look at me. I'm making all y'all. We doing this. You get this. No, too late. You're laying there. Yep. It's a big style. I can switch. No, it's too late. You still light you up. See how easy yours was? You can find your belly button. Relax. <laughs> to, uh, uh, Anxiety went to a thousand. Well, why am I going to say, you don't hurt me. Well, why say, You know, you can always just hold on to the little mat thing. I did this. I had one for my stomach. Hold on to your stomach. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's been too late when you made me get the motherfucker. What the hell you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no chicken in out. Once I got mine, spirit, just set the stove for y'all. Take a deep breath. All right. Take a deep breath. And it's done already. Now he just got to switch it out. You look like you got a contraction. <laughs> hey, get out. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> How you feeling? So. <laughs> like I did. You got dizzy. Uh, I'm back. Um, so, picking up from. Sorry, 
pay attention to my breath. So, I, we all went to go get our belly rubs pierced. You guys seen that. Um, mine was crooked. Yeah. I was like, I told, I swore that I told Aria, Aria, I'm like, I'm breathing hard right now because I gotta catch my breath. And I still gotta tell y'all about everything else that's gonna happen to me over the past week because I didn't record anything because I didn't think it needed to be recorded. So, whew. now I'm in here trying to catch my breath. Ooh. I'm in here trying to catch my breath and clean my belly button ring. I mean, my belly button piercing because as I said, mine was crooked. So I went back today and got it redone. But I sat here and told Ariana and Aria, I'm like, my shit crooked. They're like, no, it's not crooked. It's not crooked. I go home and I show my mom. She was like, yeah, that shit crooked. Not only that, she said it. I showed my aunt. My aunt was like, yeah, that shit crooked. Then I told my sister. That was the that was the butter on the what's it called. And they was like, yeah, that shit crooked. And then, you know, I posted on Instagram. And I had to post my um, belly button piercing to the side so it looked straight. <laughs> so it looked straight when I went ahead and um, showed it off because... Who wanna post a crooked ass, um, what's it called? Who wanna post a crooked ass piercing? So, uh, as of right now, I mean, as of today, I went back to the spot where I got it pierced at. And, um, I was like, hey, um, they was like, hey, how you doing? They didn't, first of all, they didn't even remember me. They must be, they must be booming. They must be having clientele like a motherfucker because they didn't even remember me. Sorry for facial expression. I put a band-aid over the other one because it was bleeding. My mom was it. I was up here trying to clean out my womb or whatever because you know you gotta clean it out twice a day. So I'm making the I made the little soapy water, but it got cold now, so I now I gotta put a little bit more soap in there. Or whatever. My hands are clean, I just washed my hands. Um a little bit more soap in there and a little bit more water so it can suck it up again. And then I'm about to take this, got it in the middle, cook up. <laughs> I'm about to put a bit of blue ring and swish it around. It looks like I'm just making my titties jiggle, but I swear to God, I'm cleaning my belly button. See, hold on, let me put y'all down so y'all can see. It's not really a smart idea. Like, it is a smart idea, but at the same time, it's not really a smart idea. You guys see, now it's straight. It's straight now, but it was straight before. And the little drip of water came from the little soot solution that I made up, or whatever. I did get a Q-tip, so I could actually get in there and clean around it and stuff. Cause I told him, I'm like, and I think the bar is too small or whatever. And he was like, uh, this is my longest bar that I got or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, for real? He was like, yeah, like, he was like, if you wanted to get another, um, you want to get another bar, I got, like, some plastic ones or whatever, but then you want to have this type of jewelry. So I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and deal with this or whatever. They say you can change the jewelry out a week after you get it. I'm going to go to an action piercing shop and... What's it called? I'm gonna go to the actual piercing shop and go on ahead and it's like, don't get me wrong, it's not really sore, but at the same time it's sore. And I can't really like see it at the same time. So I'm using y'all as to clean it. Why not a couple of Q-tips or whatever? Okay, so um as of right now it's been I want to say almost two weeks, but last week, no, well, it's not two weeks. It's been literally, it just feel like, cause it just, it just happened so soon. Well, not so soon, but it just happened recently. So, um, as of lately, not as of lately, pretty much what happened was, um, 
I got a blood clot and it was a major blood clot at that. And I was admitted to the, um, the hospital and I've been in the hospital for the past week. I got out the hospital like Friday, I want to say evening or whatever. And um, I've been out since, since I got out the hospital Friday evening. Um, let me tell you what I did. Out Friday evening, after I got the hospital a couple hours later, I went grocery shopping and I went riding in an electric scooter. I felt like a true old person or whatever because they didn't want me, like they want me to move my knee, but they didn't want me just fresh out the hospital, just sitting there and basically going about all that other stuff. So I, um, and just so y'all know, this is my mystery spot shirt. If y'all want one, go ahead, link in my bio. Um, y'all can go ahead and purchase it. Good at purchasing. You can purchase it. And I am letting you guys know that the prints that's on here, hence the name Mystery Splat, you what's it called. You cannot pick. All you pick is what type of shirt you want it on. A black shirt or a white shirt. Those are the shirt colors that I'm offering. And the colors will be at random. So I don't want to hear nobody. I'm letting y'all know the colors are at random. But yeah, go back to my story. So the things that I have did since I went there, I went, like I said, grocery shopping with um, Ariel. And um, Saturday, did a little bit of nothing. Um, Sunday, though, I had lyrics bowling banquet. And so I had to go and walk around and be around people. Um, it wasn't really that bad or whatever, but you know, you know how stuff like that can go. It just got hella dark. And when I mean hella dark, it just got real dark. I'm going to have to put y'all on my selfie light to brighten up the subject. I'm going to kick Larry Gas because I literally almost just died on her, what's it called? On her Play-Doh. She just got Play-Doh sitting in the middle of the floor. She's trying to kill me, y'all. Hold on. Let me get my um selfie stick and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, back to the story. So, um... What was I about to say? Uh, yeah, picked up, went to the lyrics, bowling banquet. She actually did very good. She came back with six plus um, trophies, plaques, and scholarship money. Yes, cheers for my baby girl. Um, but yeah, let me go back to me getting the book back. So, um, about two weeks ago, I had like this major pain in my butt, my butt cheek, my right butt cheek. Um, I didn't know what exactly came where exactly it came from i was sitting here thinking that i had a pinched nerve um because i've never had one but the way that i was describing it from my, what my mom said she said oh it just sounds like you got a pinched nerve or whatever um i had the pain in my butt cheek for two days or whatever the, the pain went away and then the pain went from my lower back up to like the middle part of my back or whatever don't act where I'm looking down. I'm really trying to avoid this, um, trying to avoid that sun. I mean, not the sun, the lighting that's coming from my glasses, but yeah. So basically what ended up happening was the pain went from my lower back all the way up to like the middle part of my back or whatever. And that was just for a day. Keep in mind, the butt cheek pain was two days. The pain in my back was one day. It just traveled up from like the morning to like the evening. It went from one spot of my back to the other spot. So the next day, I, um, what's it called? Nothing was wrong or whatever. And then my leg just, like, started hurting. Like, it was, like, an extensive pain that started hurting. And I'm not really a big one that gets medicine and medication when stuff like that start hurting. So what I just did was I got a heating pad. So I'm sitting here th going through pain and stuff, and I got a heating pad. And it just got real hectic really fast. Like, um, I tried to stand on my leg and it was like so painful that I couldn't even like, what's it called? I couldn't even stand on my leg. I was in here dramatic and all, just crawling around the house trying to get around. Like my mom and Lyric wasn't here at the time. So it was just like, shit, I gotta do what I gotta do. So like, I finally made my way up to my um, mom's room trying to get some medicine. 
bitch, all she had was Tylenol. Tylenol don't do shit for no pain like that pain that I was feeling. So I was like, okay, well, I take these Tylenol pills or whatever, and then if I'm still not feeling good or whatever by the next day, I'll go to urgent care because y'all know how bad the ER is at this point. So I'm like, I'll go to urgent care, and urgent care will take care of me. They'll do whatever they need to do, right? Boy, was I the fuck wrong. Urgent care is for stitches, a cough, a cold, or don't ask for nothing that that requires an x-ray because urgent care ain't gonna have it unless it's like an urgent care connected to a hospital. That's just what I'm just gonna say. So I go to urgent care or whatever because it's the closest urgent care to me. So I go to the one that's out of Macedonia or whatever. So I go out there and I'm hobbling, hobbling going to the um urgent care walking in the door and stuff i tell them about everything that's going on they put me in a wheelchair first of all i'm in there about like nine o'clock in the morning probably even a little bit earlier than that all the old people out right man one of them damn old people was in a wheelchair i'm the youngest thing that's in that bad boy and i'm in a wheelchair i know they was all looking at me and making fun of me being in that wheelchair and they older than i am and i'm over here in a damn wheelchair but let's not let's not go away from what the hell we're talking about. So I um I went in there and I went to see a doctor. It happened to be the same doctor that I had when Lyric had busted her head open. It wasn't like bust bust open, but it was didn't need no stitches or whatever. They just glued it shut. But it's that same doctor or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I like her. She do her ones and twos or whatever. She go and say, okay, what's wrong? What's going on? So I go ahead and explain the whole story about the pain traveling, this, that, and the third, and how I can't walk on my left leg. Then she goes and tells me, okay, well, it sounds like that you have a minor fracture in your left hip. I said, okay. So she like, all right, so this is what the diagnosis we're going to give you. We're going to um, get you some x-rays or whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'm free. I'm I'm going with you. I'm going along with you or whatever. You said I need um, x-rays. I'm going to get an x-ray. So um, she then goes on and say, we're going to have to schedule you an appointment. I'm like, schedule me an appointment. I'm like, I'm already here. Why are we scheduling me an appointment? They're like, well, we don't have none of the equipment here. So I'm like, okay, so we just going to make sure it's a soon appointment then, like tomorrow type stuff. Because I'm like, I'm free. I'm clearly free right now because, you know, y'all know that I'm currently not working. So I'm like, I'm free. So if I really need to go tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow type shit. And she was like, we're going to get you into an early, uh, early spot or whatever. She couldn't tell me or nothing because I understand she's just a doctor. She not the appointment setter or whatever. So we go ahead. She do my ones and two. She take all my vitals. She's like, okay, my vitals is all cool or whatever. Um, no fever. My high, my blood pressure not high. My sugar is not high. Everything is normal numbers or whatever. I'm just having this pain in my leg, pain in my leg. So she's like, okay, so we're going to set you up for the x-ray. We want you to have an x-ray on your spine and have an x-ray on your... um on your left leg your left hip because we think that you have a minor fracture i'm like okay that's fine so i'm posting on instagram a little bit this that and third telling people what's going on or whatever and um we get to the point that uh i go to the appointment center so i get to the appointment uh, person or whatever the lady i'm talking to her or whatever she go oh keep in mind this was like two weeks ago so we still in july um, she go, oh, so it looks like we're fully booked for the rest of the month. And actually, we're fully booked all the way to September. I said, September? Y'all just said I had a fracture hip. What do you mean you're all booked to September? Because they wanted to send me to the spine clinic to have an x-ray done. But y'all just said I had a, a minor fracture hip. If I got anything of a broke bone, shouldn't I should be, like, pushed in front of whoever the fuck else? Because, like, this is a hip. Like, I can't walk on a, a broke-ass hip. Like, you can't walk on a broke-ass hip. They'll fuck around put you on bed rest. So, if I was on, needed to be on bed rest, 
they need to tell me or whatever because at the time my mom was getting ready to go out on a cruise a week cruise at that so she was not going to be here to help and it was literally just going to be me and Larry so if I had to make plans to be around somebody that could help me or whatever I need to know that ASAP I can't walk on a minor hip or move on a minor hip it's not going to hit it it's not going to hit the right way so I'm like okay so when and she was like okay well we got an appointment that's a little sooner that's a little further out or whatever I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll draw the distance or whatever. And then she go and say, we have an appointment for August 14th. I said, August 14th. Y'all, it was like the beginning. It was like the, when I went, it was towards like the third week going into the fourth week of July. So we say it's like July 25th-ish, somewhere around there. I go in and I'm like, y'all want me to wait three weeks? That's about three weeks to get my hip and my back looked at. What sense is y'all making? Because it ain't no sense to me or whatever. So I go ahead and I'm like, okay, just give me an appointment. Just give me an appointment or whatever. She already said, like, you can take this appointment or whatever, but if the shit get worse, go to the ER. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. So they uh, go ahead and prescribe me some naproxen, which is nothing but the scientific way to say a leaf. Um, naproxen 500. That's about the most that they can give you um, over the counter or whatever. So they give me the naproxen or whatever. Um, the naproxen took a little pain off. It took a little of the edge off or whatever. It was cool. I went back home. I got the proxen or whatever same day. And I went ahead, I went ahead and went home or whatever. Let me pick off where I was at. Um, pick up where I was at. So they had me in the proxen. I went ahead and went home. And then I told everybody what was going on. They was like, oh, okay, okay. So um, let's fast forward to the night. Through the, to the night. So throughout the night, I was tossing and turning. The they only told me to take the naproxen like I think it was like every eight hours. Like the medicine wore off throughout the night. I was sleep. It was so painful. Like when I mean it was so painful, I was crying in pain. So I go ahead and just thug it out throughout the night. I'm like, okay, in the morning I'm going to the ER. Fuck it. So um. At this point, my mom had just already left from out of um, Cleveland to go to Miami for a cruise or whatever. And it was just me and Lyric. So I had to take Lyric to my aunt's house or whatever. And I go to the ER. I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for, um, well, let me go to when I woke up. So I woke up. My whole leg, my whole left leg was swollen. When I mean it was swollen, like it was fat as fuck. And I have fat feet. It was my feet was even fatter than normal it was so swollen it had like a hump in my foot or whatever i thought it was like water resistance I, i'm water resistance it was like water i can't even tell you what it was i can't even remember what it's called or whatever but i thought my feet was swollen because of water like i was retaining oh i was retaining water because i have been throwing back a lot of water at that time so i'm like it's just water retaining then i was supposed to leave to go with um ariel to go get to try moles or whatever and when I put my foot in a crock, girl, I say girl like it's that only y'all the only ones that's listening. Y'all, my foot could not even go into the crock. So I'm like, oh my God. I told Ariel, Ariel was like, yeah, bitch, you need to go ahead and go to that uh, ER. So I took Lyric to my aunt, went to the, uh, what's it called? I'm over here thinking they just gonna give me some medicine and shit. I go in there, tell them everything was going on, tell them the whole story relive that shit from last week all the way to present and then they was like okay well we're gonna go ahead and get you to the back or whatever they get me to the back they go ahead and do some x-rays on my whole left leg they take me back to the room they put me in or whatever and it was like they came back about like 15 20 minutes later and it was like yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get, put you into the room put you into a room <laughs> i'm like oh my god i'm like i just knew that if i came here this shit was gonna happen like I, that's why i was trying to avoid going to the er or whatever so 
I they go ahead and so I was in like the little waiting back rooms for about like a good two hours or whatever. They finally found got me a room. They put me up into a room about like twelve ish. They come through. They start coming through, taking blood um, labs and everything from me or whatever. They was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Um, that morning, the next morning, they tell me, well, Miss Cephas. You have a massive blood clot. And I was like, I have a what? It was like, you have a massive blood clot. And I was like, well, how big is it? So, you know, that's the first question it'd be like, am I going to have to take meds? Like, how big is it? Is it life threatening? Is it da 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 da? I had like 50 questions. I was just spewing at them, spewing at them, spewing at them. I was really just like really shocked that it happened or whatever. They told me the blood clot that I had in my leg went from the bottom of my left foot all the way up my leg to the to my groin to my right part the upper part of my right leg and also to the main vein in my stomach. So they pretty much told me the blood clot that I had was long enough to be a fucking rope. Y'all, the emotions start coming out because y'all know blood clots is life or death type situation. So I'm just sitting here like, oh my God, I'm about to die. <laughs> I ain't even hit 30 yet. My life is over with. It's, it's over with. It's over with. Those are the type of thoughts that's going in my head. And I was just sitting here like, my mom is not even in the country. Lyric is with my auntie my best friend's not here one of them are one of them is my best friend is at work and my other best friend is on a boat my favorite cousins are not here like my sister is so pregnant that she can't come the fuck out here my brother is at work like everything just started like so many so many so many so many things that just i'm just like oh my god y'all Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> I like my other sister. She's more than a thousand miles away. <laughs> she all the way down south. I'm like, I'm about to leave this earth. And the last the last people I'm going to look at is y'all people that's telling me that I got blood clots. This is what my thought process was. Y'all, I was in this hospital for five days. And... For the first three days, they couldn't even tell me how the hell that I got the block. How the hell I got blood clot? They said all my norm, all my uh, numbers was right. I didn't have high blood pressure. My blood sugar wasn't um, high or low. Um, they just kept saying like, "Have you been sitting for a long period of time? Have you went out on um, trips out of the country, out of the state as recently?" And I'm just like, "No, I haven't did any of that." I'm like, I, I've been doing my normal. I bowl, I have my own little clothing line or whatever. Like, I have not been doing anything out of the normal, out of the normal. So, they go ahead and they running more tests, running more tests. Y'all, y'all would not believe what the fuck gave me this blood clot. My birth control gave me this damn blood clot. When I heard that, I was pissed. I'm like, y'all sit here and say, like, like y'all, y'all just put all types of toxic shit in women's body and just like be like, here. I mean, it might cause you a couple problems or whatever, but hey, you won't be pregnant. Like, why can't I not be pregnant and be safe in the stuff and the pills and the medicines and shit that y'all give us to put in my body? You feel me? So I'm just like and at the time when they told me that i had just put a fresh thing of um uh, what's it called birth control up in me because i take the new ring so that's literally straight birth control con contact with my inner organs like the new ring if you don't have it it sits right upside the cervix so that means that the birth control is instantly getting observed into absorbed into the cervix I've been putting this poison up in my body for over a year. What type of bullshit? So I'm like, this is like 
day four, day day four, they tell me. Well, no, like day three ish, they tell me. They like so. Um, we do have a solution to it, and I'm like, okay, what's the solution? They like you have to have surgery hash slash uh how you have to have a surgery slash procedure done. I'm like, what's the procedure? So they go on and start to start to explain what the procedure is. So they like, okay, so the procedure that we're gonna be doing on here, we're gonna make a slight cut in the back of your um knee. And I instantly was like, my knee. I need my knee. I do too much stuff that requires me to bend, to walk, and everything else. But they said that they had to do a slight, slight, a slight cut in be in the back of my kneecap to insert a camera and some wire in my leg to pull the blood clot from out of my nerves and also to um to pull the blood clot out of my nerves and also to break up the rest that they couldn't actually get out i'm like okay and they also said well we're gonna have to put you under I'm like, okay. It just kept getting worse and getting feeling worse. I'm like, well, how long is the surgery? And it was like, we can't tell you how long the surgery is going to be. It's just going to be as long as it needs to be. Y'all, I started to instantly get fucking emotional because, like, I've never been in surgery. I've never had to be put under with medicine. I've heard so many stories how, like, this, that shit can go wrong. Like, you can lose blood. You can do this. You can do that. And when I tell y'all, like, instantly my whole body just started shaking and everything. Like, this whole experience for me has not been the best experience at all. And I only say that because, like, the healing, exp the healing experience of it it's okay like i'm not having too many problems they put me on medication the only problem with the medication i'm having is i have to stab myself not stab myself but i have to use injectables and inject medicine straight into my stomach twice a day and i also have to take pills three times a day so am i happy i gotta take that many amount of pills no Am I happy that I got to inject myself twice a day? Hell no. I'm really mad about that. But the fact that I had my first major surgery and my mom wasn't here, that's that one thing right there was on my mind the whole time because I'm like, anything can go wrong. And my mom is like literally in the middle of the ocean right now. And she was gone for eight days. So I'm like something bad can happen at any shape any time any moment and i'm not gonna be able to see my mom no more i'm not gonna be able to see lyric no more those was the two top things that was on my head and i was like i just started a business <laughs> i'm like i just started a business i just i'm in the process of getting ready to start a new job like like, what would they do if they was, like, in the midst of about to hire me and I just died on them? Like, that shit is crazy. Like, I was just thinking of so many different things and, like, this shit was crazy. It, like, the whole ordeal, the whole thing, the stress on my body, the stress on me with this whole situation, like... It was just a lot, and I can't even count on how on one hand how many times I cried. When they told me that I was going to have surgery and my best friend mom was there, they told me that shit, and I tried to hold the tears in until the doctor left, and as soon as the doctor left from behind the curtain, I just busted out in tears, and like... I'm just like, oh my God, it scared me so fucking much, so much. Like, I'm sorry for all the cussing, but it's like, y'all don't, y'all just do not know. And like, every time I think about it, it just like, I feel like this, even though it was, it's a, something major, but it was minor at the same time. Something so small happened so freaking fast. And it's like, my fucking life has just been turned upside down because I'm going to have to get my shot. I'm going to give myself shots twice a day for a month. I'm going to have to take these pills for two months. After the, the shots are done, I'm going to have to go ahead and do, uh, what's it called? 
after the shots are done, I'm gonna go ahead and have to have um, painkillers for, not painkillers, blood thinners for the next three to six months taking pills. Like, I've never been a person to sit here and take pills on normal. I've never been a person. Like, this did not didn't do anything but like, make life harder in a way at the same time not at the same time if you understand what I'm saying but I feel like at the same time this was a whole awakening and it just was like bitch you just been get did you just been getting done dirty on a normal basis for a long time at this point like it's time for you to just you gonna change up like you're gonna change stuff up with your health you're gonna change up stuff with the people that's around you that's around you who claim they love you or give a fuck about you and they don't and you know they don't but you keep them around because you don't like to let people go and it's just a lot like this happening to me was more of a waking an awakening for me than anything else because it just was like life is really short like it's something that I know life is short and I've known that because I have friends that was my age that passed away so I know it's short but it's not you don't really get that feeling of life being too short until something major something life-threatening happens to you and one thing I will say like lovely gang y'all need to take care of yourselves Y'all, y'all gotta take care of yourselves. Y'all gotta do for y'all what y'all think is done for y'all. Don't let nobody be sitting here walking all over you because you don't like confrontation or anything. You need to say what's on your own um, mind. You need to tell these people how you really feel because t- t- you here today and tomorrow you can be gone. Like that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I can't. I don't even want to get into a whole sermon or nothing or sit here and lecture y'all about stuff that y'all need to. But, like, I just want to say, like, me being me and me having my own awakening, I just know that a lot of shit is going to change. And when I mean a lot of shit is going to change, I mean that with my whole heart. Like, I'm not going to keep doing the same shit that I was doing before. I'm going to take my business to the next level. I'm not going to sit here and I ain't going to drag on having a job because I'm going to need that job. I'm going to sit here in my work. I'm going to work hard so my stuff can launch and then I can be have my own business and not have to worry about being somebody's employee. I can be my own boss. I'm going to keep doing the stuff that I'm doing. I'm going to better myself. I'm going to push myself harder. Like This is really have been a when I mean it's really have been a life changing moment for me. It really has. And yeah, that shit low-key just got real deep, y'all. Y'all know I don't even do deep shit. I don't do deep shit. I don't do emotions or nothing. But I felt like you guys should know, like, what's been going on in my life that just, like, I've been posting videos and stuff on a weekly basis or whatever. I haven't posted in, like, the last, the last month, I want to say. I haven't passed, posted nothing in the last month. But I'm about to be on my YouTube shit. I'm about to be on my content um, content creator type shit. I'm about to be pushing stuff out on TikTok. I'm about to be pushing stuff out on YouTube. I'm not playing no more games with myself. Like, that, I still got time. I got time. I got time. Personality, that shit out the window. I don't got time. I'm 26 years old, and I want a lot for myself. So... When y'all see me crunching down and doing and going hard on some shit, and y'all be like, "Well, what expired her? That blood clot that I had expired me. It told me to get my ass up and stop being fucking lazy. That's that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. It's telling me to do what you really need to do because we don't know when when the hell we gonna be up out of here and when we gonna be still be here." That time is set in stone. God already wrote that shit up there in the sky. Y'all don't, we don't know that. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And my next video, I'm going to do something spectacular. I don't know what I'm going to do. But 
y'all already see that I got a um, belly button piercing. And I just, y'all know, like, I, I do piercings. But I was always iffy on my belly button because, you know, I'm on a little chunkier side or whatever. So it's just was like, and I always wear high-waisted pants and everything else. So it was just like, why get a belly button piercing? Well, I used to talk about it all the time when I was younger with both of my best friends. And we all used to be like, oh, we're going to get a belly button ring. We're going to get a belly button ring. Yeah, my bad, y'all. I got a, uh, what's it called? My phone with it. And y'all see my wall? This will be one of my next projects because I took down my flower wall and look at all that paint. Look at that. Look at all that damn paint that came off the goddamn wall. So I just can't look at that because it's not aesthetically pleasing to my fucking eyes. So, but like I was saying, so we all waited till we got to the big age of 26 to say, hey, you guys, you know, you remember how we always used to talk about getting our belly button piercings? Let's go get them done today. So, <laughs> pretty much that's literally what happened. And, yeah. So, now I got a belly button piercing. Which is now pierced correctly. Because it was crooked. And, y'all seen that picture. Crooked as hell. I don't know what that man was looking at. But, yeah. So, when I get done, um, when it's get done healing. And it's time for me to be able to change the um, piercing. Or whatever i'm going to get longer jewelry and get something cute and i'm going to be working out because i gotta wear this belly button piercing out if i'm gonna get my belly pierced people gonna know i got this bitch pierced i'm not just about to keep this good in yeah no nah, this good gonna be out so your girl gotta go ahead and work out some more that's the plan but i done had y'all for a long time already so I'm just gonna go ahead and this is gonna be just like a little it's gonna be a two-day video. I never noticed how how bright my light is in my room because I normally don't use this light. So we're gonna do one of these numbers. Um yeah, this is the shirt that I had on um I had on earlier today. My crop top, my white crop top. I had it on earlier today during physical therapy which they also kicked me out of physical therapy they said i don't need it they don't need physical therapy or ot because i'm walking around like a normal person and don't really need it so um what was i about to say don't forget to i'm gonna end this video here so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel this is your girl leah and we're out.